Now why am I showing you the front of this house? You see anything that looks kind of peculiar? Yes, there's no light fixture there. You see that? I have no idea how long that light fixture's been missing. And I wanted to take matters in my own hands and I want to put this up. Now you can get any kind of light fixture you want ranging from twenty dollars to probably around a hundred dollars. Now this one here was about thirty-five dollars. Anodized bronze. Now see that one, it, when it comes out it sticks up. Now there's some that go there and stick down. So you know different sizes, shapes and all that. Look at the store and especially if you've got an old crummy dilapidated one, something that's all rusty or something, why don't you go ahead and change it and put up another one. That's what this video is about, installing a light fixture by the front door. I guess before I start messing with these wires too much, I better go inside and make sure the light switch is off, because I have no idea if it's off or not. Now I have a little tester here. And I think the light switch is on. I better go in there just a minute and I'll turn that off. Last thing you want is to start working on a hot box. All you have to do is merely turn the light switch off. Well, this particular light fixture box is a little bit different. There's two sets of wires coming in here. One cable there and one here with the black and white coming out and the black and the white. So before I mess with it too far. I want to take this little support bracket off of here. Now, in fact, maybe I could leave that there and see what the new light fixture, if they have a middle screw that goes like that, maybe I can use this bracket here. You know? So let me pull that apart and check that out. Normally light fixtures where your light switch is, you've got the power going to the light switch, then you've got one wire coming out here with a white and black or something like that that you then attach your your light to. Now this one here is slightly different than that. I'll have to explain that in a minute. We may have to turn it off at the breaker because the power could be coming What's happening is the power is it's more than likely coming in to the box and then from here it's going down to the light switch. Okay? So I'm going to have to look at that a little bit closer before we start pulling wire nuts off and all that. Stick around. You know what? I'm going to take this bracket off of here anyways so that you can see the whole effect. Chances are the new bracket may have a set screw on there for the ground too. Right now, this screw that I'm taking off, there's a, the ground wire is attached right there. You see that? That's the existing ground wire. Let's just pull this off here. and see what we got going. Be careful not to scrape off all of your stucco and stuff. And it's got some stucco remnants in here, so I'm gonna clean this box out. And then we'll figure out where these wires go, okay? Right now the power is still on to the box. Got a wire nut on here, a wire nut on here. Be careful with that and then see I've got a wire nut that was in here attaching the white wires together. I've got a black coming out and a black coming out of the box. Okay. That's what we got so far. I've got my little wire tester again. This one's kind of cool. It's a battery operated deal. You turn it on, you hold it up here. And if you hear it go off, you know there's power there. Now see, here's a cable here. There's nothing over here. This is the black wire. 
there's power here because the white wires are connected right here. So if I undo this wire nut here, this there's still going to be power on the cable, and there's power over here. So when I turn the light switch on or off, this still stays on here. That tells me this is the main power line coming into this light fixture, and then this other set of wires here is going down to the light switch. So in this instance, I'm going to have to go back to the breaker, locate it, and turn it off. Last thing I want to do is start working on this with hot wires, okay? So if you only saw one, one cable coming into the box, then you know the power comes from the light switch first and then up. At that point, all you have to do is turn the light switch off. Do you see what I mean? You just turn the light switch off and then there's no power. In this case, we're going to turn the breaker off.